Hello and good day everyone. Welcome back to Smart Build Guides for tutorial in properties of materials. And in this tutorial we are going to solve a question that states a tensile stress is to be applied along the long axis of a cylindrical brass rod that has a diameter of 10 millimeters. We are to determine the magnitude of the load required. That is the force required to produce 2.5 times 10 to the power of minus 3 millimeters change in diameter, not in length have this in mind if the deformation is entirely elastic given that the Poisson's ratio value for brass is 0 0.34 and the young modulus which is e is given to be 97 gigapascal what we are needed to find is the force and we know that in elasticity is stress that have relationship with the force whereby we know that stress is equal to force over area so therefore we can uh, determine the area and the stress then find the force also we can find the stress from stress is equal to the strain times the young modulus but here also we only have the young modulus we don't have the strain we don't have the strain and we have no values to find the strain that is the length and the change in length because what we are given here in the question are values for the diameter so that's where Poisson's ratio come in let's explain Poisson's ratio a little Poisson's ratio is known to be a ratio of the lateral strain over the linear strain. For example, if we have a certain material of a certain length and diameter, if we apply force to it and it elongates, that is the stress elongate, we are going to have an extra length, that is the change in length, but the diameter will not be the same. As the length is increasing, the diameter is going to be reducing. Instead of how it is for example, if it's 10, we can have something like 9 point something. There's going to be reduction in diameter. That's a change in diameter. So that is what Poisson's ratio is all about. It is denoted by V, which is equal to the lateral strain over the linear strain. Mathematically, it is V is equal to minus E L over E or in some places you will see over E X that's the normal strain we know already so we can do this and determine the linear strain for us to solve this question we can first determine the lateral strain by saying E L is equal to change in diameter over the original diameter we are all given from the question which is minus 2.5 times 10 to the power of minus 3 in millimeters the question only told me 2.5 why do i say minus because the change in diameter the diameter is going to reduce when the length increase the diameter is going to reduce so that's why i use the negative sign over 10 millimeters which is which is the diameter i'm given from the question so el that's the lateral strain is going to be minus 2.5 times 10 to the power of minus 4. Now to determine the strain, I'm, I know that Poisson's ratio is equal to negative of lateral strain over the strain, that's the linear strain. Therefore, the linear strain will now be minus EL over V. I, I have everything, which is the minus into minus 2.5 times 10 to the power of minus 4 divide by the Poisson ratio which is 0 0.34 therefore the strain is going to give me 7.35 times 10 to the power of minus 4 this is the linear strain I have gotten so now I have strain I also have young modulus I can find the stress by saying stress is equal to strain times the young modulus which is equal to 7.35 times 10 to the power of minus 4 times the young modulus which is 97 times 10 to the power of 9 because I'm told gigapascal therefore the stress is going to give me 71.3 times 10 to the power of 6 Pascal times 10 to the power of 6 is known to be mega therefore stress is equal to 71.3 mega Pascal. The question asked me to find the force. I will now bring the formula that says stress is equal to force over area. Therefore, 
force will now be stress times the area but I don't have the area I only know that area is equal to what pi d square over 4 therefore the force will now be stress times pi times d square so the force will now be the stress which is 7 to 1.3 times 10 to the power of 6 that's mega pascal pascal is newton per meter squared then times pi then times the diameter squared what is the diameter the diameter i'm given 10 millimeters that's 10 times 10 to the power of minus 3 that's milli the meters square divided by 4 so here the meter when squared it's going to be meter squared this unit will go for the meter and meter square will go the unit i'm going to be left with is newton which we all know is the unit of force so if you insert this all in your calculator you will see that the force is going to be equal to 5600 newton do you enjoy this video do you have any question or misunderstanding you want me to tell you more about kindly drop it in the comment section but wait first have you subscribed to the channel if no kindly do so now and comment with subscribed under the video thank you